Hello everyone, I am Sandhya Christi, Assistant Professor from the Department of ECE and today's topic is Half Adder and Full Adder. Adder and Types of Adder First, how does an adder work and what is an adder? An adder operates on binary numbers, taking two inputs and producing a sum output. It consists of logic gates that perform basic addition operations based on the binary representation of the numbers. The inputs are fed into the adder and the output is the sum of the inputs along with the carry out signal if the result exceeds the number of bits the, ha the adder can handle. In many computers and other types of processes, adders are even used to calculate addresses and related activities and calculate table indices in the ALU and even utilized in other parts of the processes. These can be built for many numerical representations like XS3 or binary code and decimals. What are the types of adders? There are several types of adders including half adders, full adders, ripple carry adders, look ahead adders, carry skip adders and carry select adders. Each type has its own characteristics, trade-offs and applications. In this video, let's see about half adders and full adders in detail. First, what is a half adder? A half adder is the simplest form of an adder. It takes two single bit inputs A and B and produces two outputs the sum S and the carry C. The sum output represents the least significant bit of the addition while the carry output indicates whether there is a carry over to the next bit. Half adder is a combinational logic circuit which is designed by connecting one XOR gate and one AND gate. The half adder circuit has two inputs. As shown in the image, A and B are the inputs, inputs of the half adder and the sum S and carry C are the outputs of the half adder. Now let's see the logical expression for half adder. The sum is equal to A XR B and carry will be equal to A and B. An equivalent expression in terms of the basic AND and OR not is sum is equal to A and B plus A and B bar. Now in this image we can clearly see A and B are the inputs given into our XR gate and this result will be the sum and A and B are again given to our AND gate and the result is the carry. Now let's see the truth table. The inputs are A and B and the outputs are sum and carry. The known conditions for inputs are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. For 0, 0 condition, the sum will be 0 and the carry will also be 0. For 0, 1 condition, the sum will be 1 and the carry will be 0. For 1, 0 condition, again the sum will be 1 and the carry will be 0. For 1, 1 condition, the sum will be 0 and carry will be 1. Now let's, now let's see about what is a full adder. A full adder is an extension of half adder. It takes three inputs, A, B and carry in, that is E in, and produces two outputs, the sum and the carry C. The carry in represents the carry over from the previous bit, allowing full adders to perform multi-bit additions. Here, full adder is a circuit that consists of two XOR gates and two AND gates and one OR gate. Full adder is the adder that adds three inputs and produces two outputs which consist of two XOR gates and two AND gates and one OR gate. The first two inputs are A and B and the third input is an carry as C in. The output carry is designated as C out and the normal output is designated as S which is the sum. We can clearly see in the image A, B and carry in are the inputs for the full adder and the output will be sum out sum s and carry out. Now let's see the logical expression for full adder. The sum is a xor b into xor c in that is a xor b xor c in. The carry out is a and b or c in a xor b that is a and b 
plus C in A X or B. The equation obtained by the XOR gate is the sum of the binary digits, while the outputs obtained by AND gate is the carry obtained by the addition. Let's see the truth table. The inputs are A, B and C in and the outputs are C out at S. S is sum and C out is carry. For 0, 0, 0 inputs, the output will be 0 and sum will be 0. For 0, 0, 1 inputs, the C out will be 0 and sum will be 1. For 0, 1, 0 inputs, the C out will be 0 and sum will be 1. For 0, 1, 1 inputs, the C out will be 1 and sum will be 0. For 1, 0, 0 inputs, the C out will be 0 and sum will be 1. For 1, 0, 1 inputs, the C out will be 1 and sum will be 0. For 1, 1, 0 inputs, the C out will be 1 and sum will be 0. For 1, 1, 1 inputs, the C out will be 1 and sum will be 1. We use full adder because when a carry in bit is available, another 1 bit adder must be used since a 1 bit half adder does not take any carry in bit. A 1 bit full adder adds 3 operands and generates 2 bit results. Therefore, C out will be equal to AB plus C in A XOR B and it is the full adder's logic circuit. Now let's see the difference between full adder and half adder. A half adder is a combinational circuit that performs the addition of two bits. A full adder is a combinational circuit that performs the addition of three bits. A combinational logic circuit that adds two one bit digits, the half adder produces a sum of two inputs. A combinational logic circuit that performs an addition operation on three one bit binary numbers, the full adder produces a sum of three inputs and carry value. In half adder, the previous carry value is not used, whereas in full adder, the previous carry of half adder is used. There are two input bits for A and B in half adder, whereas in full adder, there are three input bits that is A, B, and C in. The next point is, since we use only two bits in half adder as input, the generated output is of two bit sum and carry from the input of two bits. Since we use three bits as inputs in full adder, the generated output is of two bits sum and carry from the input of three bits. A half adder circuit cannot be used in the same way as a full adder circuit. A full adder circuit can be used in the place of a half adder circuit as well. That's it on half adders and full adders. I hope you have all got a clear and brief explanation on half adder and full adders. Thank you.